Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to the second chapter of Sally Face. Previously, we were introduced to most of the main cast, and at the end, we got some weeb who arrested. Sal? Sally, where are you? Hmm, not wearing my mask. Still blue hair, though. Nice golden field representing hope. And lack of suffering. Something rare in Sally's world right now. Don't wander so far, sweetie. I want to see the doggy, Mom. Can't you hear him? Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. But I really want to see it. Please? Please, can I go pet the doggy? Oh, alright, Sal. Just give me a second to get my purse. Then we can go together. Yay! I'll wait over there by the trees. Hopefully this is just a nice dream and not a terrible flashback. I yeah, a bad feeling. It's a lot of trees. When he said he was going to go away by the trees, I didn't quite expect a forest. Or... a city and blood on my face. This is his world collapsing. Purse, collar... Dead. Hey, look, it's the ponies. Thank you so much for coming in to help out with the toilet. No problem, Miss Sanderson. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Wonderful. I mean, normally would have taken care of it himself, but unfortunately, his fingers have turned into banana peels. Are, are you literal? And the street corner is just so dangerous. I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom is just over there. Here it is. So, you want me to uh, unclog your toilet? Yeah, that's... That's a McDonald's bathroom right there. Oh god. Oh yeah. Typical plumbing job. You get about $20 per hour for this rate. Toilet comes alive, sucks you into a vortal. Sucks you into a vortex with a evil pony. Hi. You there. Please, help me. What's wrong? The water. It stopped. So thirsty. Don't worry. I know how to fix this. Please. Hurry. Don't worry, toilet pony. I'll... I'll be out just fine. We just gotta find the source of the clog. Hmm. A maze to the left. And a maze to the right, possibly? No switch. Broken. We'll take the right ladder. And then we'll check out the left. Now if I see the switch again... It's a different switch at least. So a little bit of a maze. Switch maze, I guess. Dead end here. So let's keep going. Green. This is a puzzle, isn't it? Gotta flip the switches. That one? Okay. Now before I go back to the right, let's see if there's any switches this way. I don't think so. I'm assuming this ladder takes us back to the beginning. So that we flip the switch. There we go. It worked. 
That should help our pony friend. Look, nice and clean. Good for you. Check over here real quick. Nothing. So I'm assuming the pony clogged the toilet. Maybe that was what symbolism for. <laughs> hmm. Dark atmosphere. Oh no. This was... This was the pony murders. Let's leave. Clearly this had a big effect on us. Hi buddy. Cell, come closer. I have something to show you. I know you touched my pony. I thought we were friends, Cell. Dang, Terminator. Episode 2, The Wretched. Man, you still having those nightmares? I haven't had them this bad since right after my mom died. I really think it's this building. There's something off about it. Dude, I know you're so insistent about it, but I really don't think this place is haunted. Only haunted by my trauma. But that just follows me everywhere. I've been here most of my life and haven't seen any ghosts. But... But what? Well, we've known each other for a while now. I have to show you something. Come on. Odin's blood. Fear within. Sanity. Dead things. Destroyed. That's posters. Ready? You know, I look pretty good. In my little winter setup. It kinda, kinda works with my face and hair. Like a weird goth Miku. Whoa. How come you never told me about this? It's where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. A treehouse? Awesome. You think Sally would have uh, seen this? coming into the apartment, but it seems to be a surprise for him. This is so cool. I've always wanted a free house when I was younger. Yeah, my dad built this for me before he, uh, disappeared. Wait, what? What do you mean, disappeared? One day he was here and everything was okay, and the next day he was just gone. No note, no nothing. And all of his things were still here. His clothes, his tools, his wallet, his driver's license, everything. He just disappeared. Damn. I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how hard that is. Did your parents not get along? No, my parents loved each other. They hardly even fought or anything. It isn't what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us. Even if that's what my mom chooses to believe, I know he would never leave us like that. He loved us. I believe you. So what do you think happened? Look, you know I'm not generally superstitious, and I know you and Chuck swear that the apartments are haunted, but... Well, I think it's something else. Like what? More murder? Weird cult? Like what? I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can trust you. Sal, I know you won't judge me. Of course not. The day before you disappeared, I did something I'm not too proud of. My parents got some firecrackers and they told me. So many times to wait for them. I had to play with them on my own. I just couldn't resist, dude. I let a few out back and one it up in Mr. Gibson's open window. 
It killed her pet rabbit. Oh man, that's rough. Yeah, so I ran to check on Mrs. Gibson and she was screaming at me like crazy. As if I need another reason to piss off. That old bag. I felt horrible though. That poor bunny. Anyways, as I was coming down in the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. He reached out and touched me. I got this super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared shitless, dude. I thought I was losing my mind. It was gone as quick as he came, just as the doors opened. He cursed me. Because of what I did, he cursed me. Everything in my life was fucked after that. My dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. I missed so much school I had to take summer classes. It was one bad thing after the next. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. Including me. Do you think this curse took your dad away? I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit... Miss Sanderson, everything. Whoa, hold on, man. Even if there is some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for every bad thing that happens. It's not all your fault. What did this demon look like? It was like nothing I've ever seen before. It was like a moving shadow. All black and misty, it had the form of a man. And the eyes were the worst part. These deep red eyes that pierced right through you. Holy shit. What? I've seen it too. I've seen your demon. No way, when? I swear, I've seen it in the building, just like you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghosts too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How would we do that? Maybe there's some clues around that could help. We can try to find out more about these ghosts. See if we can get to the bottom of this. Sure, why not? I got nothing to lose. My mom didn't want any of my dad's things in the house, so I brought everything out here. For when he comes back. See a picture? Huh. Game Boy up top. Huh? That's strange. What is that? I found this weird Gear Boy cartridge in the Lost and Found box a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. That was one of the last pictures we took together, not long before he disappeared. Ugh, I better keep looking. Nothing useful in here. What do you sense, Gear Boy? Pirated Nintendo products? A bunch of nature and outdoorsy magazines. Seems like Larry's dad is the opposite of my dad. The magazines are all old, from six years ago or more. Doesn't look like anything too useful, though. Let's see what else is in here. A worn leather jacket. There's a couple of old concert tickets in the pocket. I guess that's where Larry gets his taste in music. Seems like a nice way to bond. I don't think I've even watched a concert on TV with my dad, let alone go to one live. So we got a weird small box in here. Your boy's reacting. Take it. What's in the box? I have no idea, man. It belonged to my dad. It's some kind of puzzle box. Never could figure out how to open it, though. We have such things to show you. Looks like there's a piece missing. Oh yeah, you're right. I never noticed that before. Do you mind if I hold on to this? No, go ahead. Cool. Just let me know if you get it open. Of course. So, stuff. Puzzle box, walkie-talkie, gear boy, key card. It's actually... It's actually kind of cool looking. Some weird... Weird love child. Of a game gear and a, a game boy, and I guess that's why you call it the gear boy. Sonic and Mario had one off night for a little too much drinks, if you know what I mean. So let's leave.
It's a nice winter. It'd be pretty kind of serene if we didn't know the context of this story. And they got a camera staring right at that door. I'm gonna look around and see what else I can find out. Okay, sounds good. I sort of have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. Lisa's room? Let's poke around a little bit. Let's get in other people's business. Hey, Lisa. Feeling any better today? Oh, hi, Sal. I think today might be the worst of it. Once I'm over this hump, it'll be right as rain. Which is good because there's so much work to be done. I'm just itching to get back to it. Take it easy for now and get some rest. Oh, don't you worry about me, Sal. I've been resting plenty and Larry has been so helpful, too. I'll be just fine. The chest? Nothing to note in that one. Bathroom seems... fairly normal. We're good. And those security cameras. Looks like the machine is empty. Like my soul. Yeah, so is my tummy. Hey, Chug. Chug, what are you up to? Hi, Sally Face. I'm waiting for the snack I fill the machine. Can't start my Saturday without chocolate. I hear ya. I like to start the weekend off with video games and cartoons. I'm the only gear boy. Oh, look. They watch Rico's Modish Wife. It's a good show. Stars a bandicoot. From Great Britain. With Heifer the Wolf. Yeah, that was great. I love that show. Me too. Hazard, huh? Doesn't look like anything I use right now. Let's go find oh, the other person. It's been a little while since I've uh, played the first chapter, so I have to kind of remember where everyone's located. Sally Face. Larry Face. Sally Face. Larry Face. Sal's place? Robert's place? Let's see. Murder place. 404. Who lived on the fifth floor again? Wasn't this where the evil was? Floor is currently being renovated. Seems about right. Five oh three, five oh four, open. I should call Larry up here so we can meet Megan. You don't have to believe that ass in apartments are haunted. Larry, you there? I'm here, what's up? Can you come up to 504? Sure, my mom just took her medicine so she passed out for a while anyways. I'll be right up. So what is it you wanted to show me? Come on, she's in the bathroom. She? Just come on. Bedroom? No, the bathroom's right over here. I overshot it a little bit. Damn. These fifth floor rooms have seen better days. Shh. What? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you here? Hello? I want you to meet my friend, Larry. You coming out, Megan? I don't think there's anything in here, dude. She might be afraid. She can be pretty shy, though I haven't been able to get her to come out in a while now. I hope she's okay. So you come up to this moldy bathroom and talk to a dead girl? How often do you come up here? 
Yeah, it's the latest rage. Dead girls. Well, ghost girls, technically. For that monster Musume angle. I've been able to talk to her for a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm going to prove this to you. Hey, I never said you were crazy, man. As weird as this is, I believe you, okay? You're my best bud, and if this helps out with all of finding my dad, then I'm all for it. At least I'd be able to talk to her today. I just had this feeling. Dude, you know who you should talk, talk to with? Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know, and he's also into supernatural stuff like you are. But he could help somehow. Todd? Really? Huh, I never expected that he would believe in that stuff. He always seems so... Normal? Rational? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. Alright, I'm gonna head back down the stairs to make sure my mom's alright. Let me know if you find anything. Well, too. Maybe Megan will come out when he's not around. That kind of cliche. I can only appear to you. So, gotta see Todd. Gotta figure out what floor Todd is in. That's David's place. College students. How awful. Chug's place. Knock knock. No one's there. Second floor. Todd. Hello? Hey, Sally Face. Sorry it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up a tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Hey, I'm Ash. Hey Ash, you look straight out of the 90s. If you don't know what I'm talking about, a lot of shows had a... Generally the girl would be like a goth, or a punk or something. Like, Ghostbusters Extreme is a really good example of this, as that really represents a certain era of character design. I blame Beetlejuice. You must be Sally Face. I've heard so much about you. I, um, me? You, you have? Yeah. All good things, I swear. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Me too. Um, you too. Um, I, I mean, it's nice to meet you, meet you as well. Well, I'd love to stay and chat more, but I have to get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. No problem. We can work more on algebra next week. Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully I'll run into you again soon, Sally Face. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Enjoy the weekend, boys. You too. Do you, do you do too. You were right, Sal. You seem a bit anxious. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm cool. Okay, so what brings you this way? Ah, she seems nice. Is she a freshman too? What is she like? Her full name is Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman, like us, and an overall nice person. She has some trouble with math, so I've been tutoring her for like the past couple of weeks. In exchange, she keenly assists me with my art assignments. She sounds like a great friend. 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 Sure, I suppose so. You need to come here to talk about Ashley, though. So what's up? Oh, right. I see dead people, so I'm going to start with a reference. Are you referring to Miss Sanderson? No, that's something else, although I do see myself sometimes in the mirror and I am dead on the inside, but that's not the point. This building is haunted, and I'm trying to find out more about the ghosts here. I need your help. And then Sally Face explained everything. Thank you for telling me your story. I think it may be of some assistance with your exploration of the paranormal. Specifically, I have a suspicion that a periation resides in my bathroom. You're not gonna have me unclog your toilets, are you? Like, okay, the, the periation's in the toilet right there. Yeah, you better get this this ghost hunting plunger. 
Huh? Really? Yes. It does seem a bit strange coincidence that your Megan and my creation are both found in bathrooms. However, it could also be that the water pipes act as some sort of conductor for them. Though, that is only speculation on my part. We did have a dream when we were stuck in the sewer. Do you have your gear board cartridge with you? Yeah. Perfect. Let's go check out the bathroom. What do you usually do when you call upon Megan? Does the gear boy always light up when she's near? It doesn't light up every time. Usually I just start talking to her. Sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Okay. Go ahead and try the same thing here. So we can attempt to like summon the spirit. Hello, is anyone here with us? We're not going to hurt you. We're your friends. Hello, is anyone there? Nothing is happening, and the game isn't lighting up either. Hmm, I have an idea. Let me see that. I bet I can modify your gear board to help better detect supernatural hotspots. Cool, sounds good to me. I'll need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, I'll need something to amplify the device's reception, and second, something to boost its electrical output. So, like an antenna and a battery pack? Sure, I'll be in my room once you're ready. So we gotta amplify the, uh, the wavelengths using a battery pack, so that way we can pierce deeper into the sewer system to reach the spirits. Uh, this is a fairly typical procedure. Usually you get a contractor to do it, but we're gonna like do a little, do it on our own. Uh, a little, a little bit of a home shop, not home shopping network, uh, what's the thing? Home improvement network? Travel channel? No. Bob. I like your fish. That's Bob. He's okay. My parents insisted that I need more nature in my life to counterbalance all of this technology, as they put it. He actually kind of works. Knock, is there a goat in here? I swear I hear a goat. See, they moved after what happened with Charlie. It was Charlie's place. Most places have been cleared out. But maybe we can find something. Man, that smell is still lingering. I'm definitely not going in there. First floor, let's try this. Miss Rosenberg. Who is it? It's Sal, from upstairs. Is there something you want? I just want to talk to you. To me. Alright, come on in then. The door is open. Nice place. Hello there, Sally. What brings a young girl like yourself to see this old woman? Hi, Miss Rosenberg. I want to ask you a few things, if that's okay. Ask away, child. I may not have much left, but time is all I've got now. Yes, time all I have, and even now soon slip away from me. But maybe I never really had to grasp on it at all. Such a strange concept, isn't it? Time. Sitting here alone, the mind can drift. A great deal. Wondering what's beyond the veil. Get too deep into these thoughts and the world makes less and less sense. Yes, time is an enigma. Oh, but listen to me rambling on. I'm sorry. Dear Sally, you had something to ask. Have you ever seen a ghost in the building? Ghosts? Why in heavens would you worry about such a thing go as ghosts? Sally, you're such a sweet young girl. You remind me of myself from another time. Do old Rose a favor. Enjoy your life while it lasts. Don't be consumed by the lure of death. It's many secrets. I know, yes, yes, it's quite tempting and very easy to get pulled in. Why, you could say we are all ghosts, really. That is true. But anyway, I'm just waiting to pass from this place to the next. Such a thin membrane that separates existence and non-existence. With our frail bones and delicate casings, any small misstep could send us reeling into eternity in the blink of an eye. That was very deep. Somewhat twisted, but deep. How long have you lived here? Long indeed. 
It's hard to say exactly. My old mind can barely hold on to memories of yesterday anymore. Let alone a distant past. I'm afraid my days are nearing an end. Soon I return to dust and my consciousness will merge with. You are very focused on the afterlife, aren't you? The great and mysterious nothing. A void that's impossible for our little brains to wrap their heads around and trust me when I say... I've tried. Yes, a path with dreaded empty nothingness. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I've been rambling on again. What was your question? It's okay, Miss Rosenberg. I was asking how long you've lived in Addison Apartments. You know, I do remember when Addison's moved here from overseas to construct this building. Actually, this land belonged to my family first. I decided to sell to the Addisons since I was the only one remaining. I thought the company would be nice to have again. Something to share the anguish of life with. Oh yeah, you were very nihilist. I was young and desperate for a new beginning. What a foolish girl I was. You regret selling the land? Life as old as mine is filled with regret, my dear. Though it all eventually becomes meaningless. About the Addisons. Whatever happened to the rest of the family? Do they live around town? They're gone. Gone? Time takes us all, Sally. For little Terence is the last of his family. Oh, I suppose you're not so little now, but that's how I see him. There's that young boy with a twinkle in his eye and a head filled with dreams. And look at him. He never leaves that godforsaken room. Yeah. Why does he stay locked away in there? He went a little kooky after his family passed, if you ask me. The boy was so wound up he was afraid of his own shadow. Terence worshipped his father and gave up on his dream of opening a tea house in order to run his father's apartments. That's really sad, actually. Slowly but surely he began confining himself in the safety of his room until one day he stopped coming out altogether. Yes, despite the cheerful persona he puts forth from behind that door of his, Terence Anderson is about as timid as they come. Damaged by life of misfortunes. But aren't we all, my dear? Yes, I suppose we are. See ya. Well, we didn't find things we needed, but we did get a little backstory and lore. Mrs. Gibson. I think Miss Gibson would kill me if I bombed her again. Mr. Anderson. Good evening, Sally Face. It's so nice to see you. I hope you're doing well today. Hi, Mr. Addison. I'm good. How are you? Wonderful. Thank you for asking. So may I be of service to you, young sir? What's with the new camera? Yeah, you know, I did notice those cameras. Didn't you and your father receive the invitation to the monthly meeting? Everything gets discussed there. Um, oh yeah. I guess we just kind of forgot about it. That's not a problem at all, though. I do suggest you join in on the meetings in the future. If you're able to, that is. Do you even go in the meetings, or you just kind of like, peek through the door and just yell out occasionally? You see, it helps keep everyone informed and up to date. Anyhow, to answer your question, I've had a new security system put in. For everyone's safety, for all the recent events, the tenants were getting a bit nervous. I hope it's of this new, state-of-the-art security system in place. Everyone can feel more comfortable in their living arrangements. That makes sense. Thanks for catching me up on that. My pleasure. Have you seen any ghosts around? Except for me. Oh heavens to Betsy, please don't tell me my building is haunted. Last thing I need right now is some promiscuous phantoms frightening my tenants. I'm having a hard time keeping keep everyone happy while Lisa's sick. No, no, it's okay, Miss Radisson. Everything is okay. I, I was just, uh, I'm working on paper for school. Yeah, that's all. Phew, I, I nearly had a heart attack there. I simply cannot handle any more stressors at the moment. You're doing a great job. Try not to be too hard on yourself. You're too kind, Sal. Goodbye. Sal's kind of fitting into this place pretty well, considering. Everyone seems to kind of like Sal. See if there's anything down here. Dead end. So let's keep looking around. Maybe we can have something back in my room. We should check out my apartment. And... Fourth floor, was it? 402. Hey, Gizmo! Want some TV? Wow. Yeah, good for you. What you watching, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. Yeah. 
I'm just here for the cats. And every bathroom is... We have not cleaned out that litter box in a very long time. Edward Shovel Hands, I love that movie. And Twine Parks, great. Especially when the main character drinks that tea. He really likes tea. Black tea. Vampire Hunter B, only for the weebs. And there's Dad. So far, when we have like naturally blue hair, it's such a huge contrast in this world. Hey, Dad. Can I talk right now, Sal? I have to make this deadline for work. All right, bye. Love you too. That was eventful. So Robert's not home. Four oh three, we can't go in there. And no one lives in 404. See David's? Oh, hi, Sal. What's he up to today? Hey, David. Welcome to your pants. Oh, well, I don't know Walt Walsh still. So I was supposed to go get him that just got to talking, you know. Last target time. Have you seen any ghosts around? Yeah, for sure. The ghosts of my past keep me awake at night, most of the time. I'm like any sleep around here. Uh, what about, like, a spirit of someone else that used to live here? Sally and Scott lay off the drugs, man. Trust me, you'll have a better life for it. Don't make this mix the clouded. See you later. Useless! Calling students, maybe they'll know? No. They're just a waste of space. Chugs downstairs. No one's home here. So let's go down to the basement then. Laundry. Ever seen a demon with red eyes? Let's leave you alone for now. See if we can see me on the vending machine. Nope. Have you seen any ghosts lately? No, not really. I know she's a friend, but Megan scares my pants off. I just stay in my room most of my times. Have you seen demon red eyes? Well, heck no! Trying to give me nightmares? Useless to me. Alright. Let's work for reception. A walkie talkie. Too small. Key card will work. Puzzle box. Let's work for the power was talkie. Yes, the battery for your walkie talkie will work perfectly. Good thinking, Sally Face. So we just need something for the reception. I need one more item. Is your mom okay? You know, she'll be alright. Change the seasons always get to her. Just a bad cold. She'll be okay. Hey Marv, I borrowed the antenna from your scanner. Oh uh, yeah, I guess that'd be okay. Here we go. Now we can fix the gear boy. Tenna. Yes, yeah, this will work perfectly. The two components you retrieved in my own equipment, I can adequately make modifications to the gear boy I spoke of earlier. Give me a moment to get it ready. Okay, all set. Behold, the super gear boy. That's copyrighted. Oh my god. It's been Sega CD 32 x would I'm cool? Don't worry, you can still play games on it. It won't be in ghost hunting mode while the strange cartridge is in it. 
Oh, awesome. You had me worried for a second. However, I unfortunately needed a few extra parts for me walkie-talkie and wasn't able to salvage it. I hope that was alright. Eh, we can just go and scan number. No, he's not going to be happy about that. That's okay, though. It's for a good cause. Wonderful. Now for the best result, you need to hold the system out with the antenna fully extended. To do so, press the shift button. The screen will glow if it detects any paranormal frequencies in close proximity. Once flashing, press that R button there to produce a large electrical discharge. If my theory is correct, then the surge electricity will provide an ample source of power to energize nearby apparitions and possibly other supernatural elements as well. That was a real big mouthful. Okay, I think I get the gist of it. I suggest we take it for a test run in my bathroom. Sounds good. Whenever you're ready, hold up the Super Gear Boy by pressing Shift. We got something. And what do we got? Hmm, maybe I... Yeah, your toilet. You, you're gonna need to clean that clog. We need to call at least two plumbers for this. It worked. Holy crap. Uh, hello? What's the matter? Ghost of Greg. I never thought he'd kill them. I... It's all my fault. Who? Stacy and her daughter. Oh god, what a fool was to fall for a married woman. It's never a crime to follow your heart. Sometimes. You must be a romantic like I was. It's kind of you to say, but I knew better than that. We want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? We can never leave. What do you mean? You can't pass on. What's keeping you here? Have you seen a demon of red eyes? Can you tell us any- No! What- what is it? He's here! Who, the red-eyed man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? I have to go. I'm sorry. There. The mirror. That was a fully formed and conscious apparition. I've never seen anything like that. You okay? Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm fine. It's just one thing to read about the paranormal, and to formulate theories, and a whole other thing to actually experience it. I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. But we have some work to do. I think I've had my fill of excitement for today, so I'll stay here and do some research. I want to look into the history of the Addison Apartments to see if I can find anything about past residents and about the supposed murders. That'd be really helpful. While you do that, I'm going to search for more supernatural hotspots. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, I noticed some extraneous static around the game cartridge. You may want to check it out to make sure it's okay. Hmm. Play the Super Gear Boy? Oh, that is really cool. In Seeking... Prudence? Chapter 3 is open. Chapter 2 and 1 is locked. He knew not why he was drawn to this place, yet could not prevent his feet from treading the dirt path before him. Perhaps it was simply curiosity, or perhaps it was destiny. This is actually really cool. Hi, guy. You got a nice mustache. Sorry, members only. Sounds like someone is crying. I better go check and make sure they're okay. Hey, it's... It's kind of like, uh, Zelda. I'm assuming this is a maze. We'll go right. We'll go left. We'll go left. Now we'll go right. Then we'll go south. And then we'll go this way. Nope, we lost. This way. No, is this- is it completely random? North, right. Down. And then right. Found you. Hello, miss. Are you okay? Who are you? Part of my rudeness, ma'am. My name is Craigie Montag. I didn't mean to intrude on you. It's just that I heard crying and wanted to make sure everything was okay. I was just practicing for the official cry championship. That's kind of you. I take it you're not with the men of this church. No, ma'am. 
That's for the best. It's terrible what goes on in this place. It keeps me up at night. I'm beginning to fear for mine and my daughter's safety. I tried to reason with them. I've reached my wit's end. Understand! Lost my family last year in that big factory fire. It breaks my heart to see a kind lady such as yourself so broken up. I like to help however I can. You just need to tell me what you just tell me what you need. That's awful kind of you, Mr. Montag. I'm really sorry about your family. Please, call me Greg. Pleasure to meet you, Greg. I'm Stacy Holmes. Greg and Stacy. You couldn't have come along at a better time. You must be an angel. Just a humble farmer that's got to be helpful to nice folk like you. The pressure is all mine. Chapter 3 is clear. We gotta get the other chapters. Very interesting. So now we start hunting down the paranormal. 